Hey guys, here's Zach again with the third Python Project Your video. Today we're working on problem number three, largest prime factor. Uh, let's see, the prime factors of 13,195 are 5, 7, 13, and 29. What is the largest prime factor of the number uh, this? I'm not even going to worry about saying that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and copy that and go to my Python program and paste it as a variable x and uh, first off this is dealing with prime numbers so we need to write a function to check if a number is prime so I'm going to make a function called is uh, is prime in so it's going to check if in is prime and with prime numbers it, you actually check through the factors of it so we only need to go to the square root if we're looping through it so I'm going to say for i in range 2 because 0 and 1 are going to uh, those are excluded from this so we're going from 2 to and we also need to convert this to an integer the square root of n plus 1 because we want to actually include the square root of that number if we didn't make the square root an integer then it would uh, we would get a lot of decimal numbers because the square root of most numbers is generally not a integer <laughs> and uh, anyway and actually I believe with Python every time you do the exponent thing even if you have an integer it converts it to a uh, float so you so the square root of 25 with Python would be like 5.0 uh, but anyway, so we're going to loop through that, and then we're going to say if n modulus i equals zero, return false because if i there is a multiple of n, uh, then it's not a prime number. And then we're going to go down here, so it's going to say okay if it passes through this this kind of barrier, this wall, and stuff, then it it returns true, then it is prime. So that's our prime function, which is pretty simple. Um, now we need to check through the numbers, uh, all the factors of that. Okay, so for, I'm just going to do a pretty basic loop. So for i in range 2, because 0 and 1 are also going to throw it off again, we need to exclude those numbers. So in the range 2 to x plus 1, because we want to include this number I don't I'm pretty sure there's not any prime factors up there but we're going to include it anyway and then we want to say if I or no if is prime I and uh, X modulus I equals zero then print I so it should give us a few numbers because there's probably not a whole lot of them of uh, prime factors for this number but it should print all of them out and we should be able to take the last one that it gives us which would be the highest prime factor which is what we're looking for so I'm going to go ahead and run my project and we get four numbers 71, 839, 1471 and 6857 and 6857 is our answer so that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video